I don't want y'all to make this simple mistake that I made. YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I am your host, Runner with Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, man, please take the opportunity now. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, man, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I want to talk to y'all today about was, I'm, try, I'm trying to get me a little lotion, because I know my face kind of ashy. So I'm trying to get me a little lotion, lotion up. But anyway, what I want to talk to y'all today about, man, was um, I don't want y'all to make this simple mistake that I made, you know. And uh, it was about last year about this time. And what made me think about it was um, I was watching another guy's video. And he made a similar mistake, kind of similar to the one that that uh, I made. But uh, when you book these loads with the, with the agent with an agent make sure make sure you know you checking your uh paperwork and make sure you're going over all your paperwork and make sure that everything on your paperwork is correct which i booked this load with this agent and once i booked this load with this agent i thought that everything was good we was good to go so I go pick the load up, load everything up, put my seal on the lo on the on the load. Um make sure everything matched up, you know. But I forgot to check one thing. And it was a rookie mistake, and I know it was a rookie mistake, but you know, me and this agent, we had been dealing with with each other for so long, so to the point to where, you know, I didn't think that they would just try to book me on you know whatever like he knows what I like to run he knows what um, you know I don't like to do and stuff like that or whatever so long story short check my seal put my seal on I guess the rolling well I'm probably about I would say 200 miles out away from where I got loaded at and I get a phone call and the agent is like, did you go by and pick up your second load? Second load? Hold on, wait a minute. It was nothing ever discussed about a second load. Yeah, you had two picks. It was supposed to be two picks, one drop. Hold up, stop the press. Two picks and one drop? I, don't, I never agree to two picks. This is one of the things that he knows. I never agree to two picks, and if I do agree to two picks, that's something that me and you are gonna have to discuss in detail. Well, he failed to mention that it was two picks. And when I looked at my from address, my to address, it had the origin destination, and it had the, the final destination. It didn't have a stop in between, it just had those two locations. Well, I looked all the way on down to the bottom of the paperwork, and what do you know? In small print, there's another stop on the load. And I'm like, dude, why didn't you say this beforehand? Oh, well, I thought you knew whatever, whatever. And I'm like, I think that you missed this, and now you're trying to make it seem like I missed this because you missed it too. And he was like, no, 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 you know, I thought that you knew, whatever, whatever. I said, you know me, and you know that I would never accept the load without knowing all of this stuff in advance. And so he was like, I apologize, let me call and see what I can do. So he called around, see what he can do about it. Well, I had to turn around and drive 100 miles back to go and pick this load up, which I was gonna be early for my delivery which now it all makes sense uh, which then it all made sense you know why I was going to be early like really early and uh yeah so I go back pick my load up or the other part of the load up and 
I take back off. And me and him, we're discussing, me and the agent, we're discussing, you know, things that to do and don't do. So if any of y'all have ran into this problem, man, or if y'all don't want to run into this problem, hey man, send this video out to somebody who who may make this rookie mistake. You know what I'm saying? So it may be helpful to them because it could easily happen to anybody, especially in the season that we're in now, which is cutthroat season. So you got a lot of these agents, they just want to book the loads. They don't care about giving you the details. They don't care about, all they want to do is book the load. That's it. They thinking about how much money they're making the same as you're thinking about how much money you're making. So make sure you're getting all the details, ladies and gentlemen, and make sure, make sure that you don't have multiple stops on your load and you don't miss those stops or something that you and your agent may discuss beforehand. You might need to build a relationship with them and let them know, hey, if you see anything out of the ordinary on this load, please let me know so I won't miss it. So me and you will both be on the same page and we'll both have the same understanding. So, but anyway, I ain't gonna hold y'all guys too long today, man. We're still trying to get to 500 subscribers. All of the, the subscribers that have subscribed, thank you so much. Um, your subscription is greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, man. But we're gonna finish the year with a bang. And we're gonna do what we need to do over here. And y'all be safe out there. And, and make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. Make sure you're doing those pre-trips, too. Make sure you're doing those pre-trips. Because those pre-trips can help you you know, out of a world of trouble. But anyhow, we're going to get on up out of here. Runaway child, and we are...